is Kate from Wild Tales of. We hope you are having an amazing day. We are in Edmonds and we are going to take the Edmonds Ferry to Kingston, Washington over to the Olympic Peninsula and then we are going to make our way to the Port Angeles area where we're going to stay for a few days. As you probably saw, we've got tons of snow and there's more in the forecast tomorrow and we think that there was even more on the peninsula than over here. So we'll see what the conditions are like over there and we'll see if we get even more snow over there tomorrow. But we're hoping to spend some time exploring maybe parts of the Olympic National Park, Hurricane Ridge. We'll just see, we're, we kind of have to keep things up in the air because we don't really know how the conditions are going to be and a lot of things are closed for snow and also for the pandemic and things like that. So come along on the adventure and whatever happens, of course, it's gonna be a good time. Yep, hurry up. Just in time. Hurry up. We can get All to right, 9.30. All right, let's get this going. <laughs> Here we are, pulling into the first stop. It's open. You have arrived at Sea Nuts. Our first stop was here at CB's Nuts. I think we first saw the peanut butter in one of our like specialty grocery stores, maybe one of the co-ops, and just loved it, loved the idea of, you know, fresh roasted peanut butter like right from our state. And then Slade has to come out here to the peninsula for work every so often. And so he actually came here and he, um, he would come here from time to time and they have the best cookies that are peanut butter cookies. I just love peanut butter. So it's really cool that I actually got to go for the first time, finally, to the source. We love giving this peanut butter as gifts. So these are the cookies that I love. And then, I'll show you what else we got. Buckeye Bark. Have, haven't ever tried that. Yeah. Cashews. This was the guy's favorite thing, so we had to get that. CB's PB. It's like cookie crumbles, chocolate, peanut, M&M's, yum. Was it m &Ms? Yeah. And then this is the, you saw, the fresh peanut butter. Just straight up peanut butter. I'm 93 pounds. 
for the year. About 60. No, uh, 60. Well, we just had lunch at Smitty's, or no, it's called Fat Smitty's, and it's, it says it's in Port Townsend, but it's kind of like on the way between Port Townsend and Squim, between Port Townsend and Squim and Gardner, and as you saw when we walked inside, the entire place was filled with money, mostly dollar bills. But they encourage you to put your own dollar bills onto the ceiling, the wall, wherever. And they give you little tax to do that and you can color your money also. They provide markers. But the cool thing is, is that every five years, a charity comes in and removes all the money and all the money that they clear from the restaurant goes to their charity. So the last time they did it, they said, the lady said 20, it was $26,000. And that all went to the children's hospital. Must have been one of the children's hospital locally here, I'm assuming. And we were seeing it right at the end of, I guess, the five year mark, is what she was saying, because they're going to clear it out just in the next month or so. You guys like fat smitties? Really good, yeah. yeah. Good burger? That's the trail you can take all the way from Port Townsend to, to Flux. So we arrived at our rental house and it's pretty nice. Nice and spacious and a beautiful view. And so before the sun goes down and it gets too dark, we are making our way to the water. So it's a bit of a trek, end up being about 20 minute walk in the snow. So we'll see, we'll see how long we can last before it starts to get dark. Down here is Port Angeles, where you can see the red blinking light. It's the Strait of Juan de Fuca. And then across where the land is, across is Canada. Victoria is in there somewhere. So you can take a ferry over here from Port Angeles to Victoria.
You gonna be able to get around the river? Yeah. It's easy. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Can you cross this? Oh, he goes across. Can Dad make it? And he makes it. Can Georgia make it? And she makes it. Can Mom Kate make it? Yeah. And she makes it. Is he gonna get you? Nope, oh, he's not alive. Watch out. Funny though. He could attack at any moment. <laughs> how you get out and in. There you go. The good news is, is we made it back from our walk and everything was okay as far as walking in the dark back from the beach. But the bad news is, is that when I got in, I realized I had attached both of my gloves to my zipper. I kind of hooked them together. And at some point while we were walking back, one of them detached itself. And I didn't realize it until just when, right when we got inside, of course, when we're taking everything off and getting situated. So the boys were nice enough to go back out in the cold, in the snow, and go retrieve the gloves. So hopefully they will be back here in not very long while Georgia and I start dinner and get everything ready. Hopefully they're going to be back and hopefully they will have that glove in their hands. We'll see. But in the meantime, we are making our macaroni and cheese. Yummy. So this is our classic macaroni and cheese recipe. So good. But if you've been following along, you saw that we got crab for, well, a couple videos back we got crab on Christmas Eve at the at the Pike Place Market in order to yeah. be ready for Christmas dinner and then we ate that crab on Chris for Christmas dinner and so we Slade and I after we had had our fill worked hard and we set aside all the rest of the crab that was left over we actually need two of these containers and so one of them is going to go into our macaroni and cheese tonight. Uh, you find it? Right. Where was it? Dad found it. Where was it? It's on the beach. Really? Where on the beach? Uh, ways down. Seriously? <laughs> no. It don't. was across the river. It was? Yeah. It was really on the beach. It was on the beach. There it is. That's so nice of you guys. Thank I'm you. Glad we found it. I like this is not Husband of losing. the year. There he I was, is. I was losing hope. We stayed 10 feet apart with our big lights and just, there it was. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much. Just about to take the mac and cheese out of the oven. And I wanted to ask if when you stay at rental places, when you do VRBOs or Airbnbs, or is it Verbo? Which one do you say actually? You say VRBO or Verbo? Anyway, um, do you have go-to recipes that you cook in the kitchen of those homes or do you just go out to dinner or do you do like easy stuff 
We tend to go for like comfort foods that are simple and easy to put together and we just know they're kind of our classic recipes. So like that mac and cheese recipe and then we have another thing called beef rice Mexicali that's super simple, has very few ingredients and just everyone loves it. So share in the comments below. One more bite, huh? Mm. One more bite too. Oh, you're gonna have another bite. Okay. We're gonna call it a night for Macaroni and Cheese Land. Macaroni and Cheese Land! Thanks so much for joining us on our Olympic Peninsula yeah. adventure. Make sure to stay tuned for more fun. We have no idea what we're gonna be up to, but again, it's gonna be lots of fun and we'll if we can head back to the beach, I know we definitely will want to do that. And we just don't know if we're going to wake up to another foot of snow or it'll be nothing. We saw signs around town that said, "Get, are you ready for the second wave? Let's see, has it started snowing? If you enjoyed the video, we'd love it if you'd give us a thumbs up and you should definitely subscribe so you can join us for all of our adventures. And we hope you're staying happy and healthy. And we hope you are getting out and having some brave wild adventures. And we'll see you next time. Bye. The mac and cheese. It's still living.